Paul and Jesus preach the same gospel message. I had a debate with someone who was saying Jesus and Paul taught a different gospel, this was my response to him. Paul and Jesus taught the same message. The same author of the Gospel of Luke is that of Acts where Paul is mentioned as being called by Jesus himself. Paul was called by Jesus himself. Acts chapter 9 verses 11 to 16. 11 So the Lord said to him, Arise and go to the street called Straight, and inquire at the house of Judas for one called Saul of Tarsus, for behold he is praying. 12 And in a vision he has seen a man named Ananias coming in and putting his hand on him, so that he might receive his sight. 13 Then Ananias answered, Lord, I have heard from many about this man, how much harm he has done to your saints in Jerusalem. 14 And here he has authority from the chief priests to bind all who call on your name. 15 But the Lord said to him, Go, for he is a chosen vessel of mine to bear my name before Gentiles, kings, and the children of Israel. 16 For I will show him how many things he must suffer for my name's sake. Even Jesus' disciple Peter recognized that. Peter called Paul's writing scripture. 2 Peter chapter 3 verses 15 to 16 15 And consider that the long-suffering of our Lord is salvation, as also our beloved brother Paul, according to the wisdom given to him, has written to you. 16 As also in all his epistles, speaking in them of these things, in which are some things hard to understand, which untaught and unstable people twist to their own destruction, as they do also the rest of the scriptures. Paul consider himself our apostle of Jesus. Colossians chapter 1 verse 1 1 Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God, and Timothy our brother. Paul consider himself also a slave of Jesus. Romans chapter 1 verse 1 1 Paul, a bondservant of Jesus Christ, called to be an apostle, separated to the gospel of God. Preaching another gospel, besides that of Jesus, will be far from Paul, he was beheaded for the cause of Christ. Now let's take some time to see that the same message with Jesus preached was that of Paul's. Paul and Jesus both taught the depravity of man. That man's nature is wicked. Matthew chapter 7 verse 11 11 If you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father who is in heaven give good things to those who ask him? Compare to Romans chapter 3 verses 10 to 11 10 As it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. 11 There is none who understands, there is none who seeks after God. Both Paul and Jesus preach repentance. Matthew chapter 4 verse 17 17 From that time Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Compare 2 Corinthians chapter 7 verse 10 10 For godly sorrow produces repentance leading to salvation, not to be regretted, but the sorrow of the world produces death. Both of them preached faith in Jesus for salvation. John chapter 3 verse 36 36 He who believes in the Son has everlasting life, and he who does not believe the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abides on him. Compare to Romans chapter 3 verse 22 22 Even the righteousness of God, through faith in Jesus Christ, to all and on all who believe. For there is no difference. Both taught there needs to be evidence of works in your life, not as a means of salvation, but evidence you are truly saved. Matthew chapter 7 verses 15 to 19 15 Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravenous wolves. 16 You will know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? 17 Even so, every good tree bears good fruit, but a bad tree bears bad fruit. 18 A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a bad tree bear good fruit. 19 Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Compare to Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10 
10 For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Both Jesus and Paul taught the Messiah had to die and raise from the died. Luke chapter 9 verse 22 22 saying, The Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected by the elders and chief priests and scribes, and be killed and be raised the third day. Compare to Acts chapter 13 verses 27 to 31 27 For those who dwell in Jerusalem and their rulers because they did not know him, nor even the voices of the prophets which are read every Sabbath, have fulfilled them in condemning him. 28 And though they found no cause for death in him, they asked Pilate that he should be put to death. 29 Now when they had fulfilled all that was written concerning him, they took him down from the tree and laid him in a tomb. 30 But God raised him from the dead. 31 He was seen for many days by those who came up with him from Galilee to Jerusalem, who are his witnesses, to the people. Both preach Jesus died for the sins of those who believe in him. Matthew chapter 26 verse 28 28 For this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. Compare to Romans chapter 3 verse 25 25 Whom God set forth as a propitiation by his blood, through faith, to demonstrate his righteousness, because in his forbearance God had passed over the sins that were previously committed. Both taught the second coming of Jesus and the rapture. Matthew chapter 24 verses 30 to 31 30 Then the sign of the Son of Man will appear in heaven, and then all the tribes of the earth will mourn, and they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. 31 And he will send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they will gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. Compare to 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 verses 14 to 17 14 For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so God will bring with him those who sleep in Jesus. 15 For this we say to you by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord, will by no means precede those who are asleep. 16 For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ will rise first. 17 Then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And thus we shall always be with the Lord. Both taught Jesus fulfilled the law and the prophets. Matthew chapter 5 verses 17 to 18 17 Do not think that I came to destroy the law or the prophets. I did not come to destroy but to fulfill. 18 For assuredly I say to you, till heaven and earth pass away, one jot or one tittle will by no means pass from the law till all is fulfilled. Compare to Romans chapter 3 verse 21 21 But now the righteousness of God apart from the law is revealed, being witnessed by the law and the prophets. Both taught that one needs a righteousness outside of oneself that exceeds that of the Pharisees. Matthew chapter 5 verse 20 20 For I say to you, that unless your righteousness exceeds the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, you will by no means enter the kingdom of heaven. Compare to Philippians chapter 3 verses 5 to 9 5 Circumcised the eighth day of the stock of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew of the Hebrews, concerning the law, a Pharisee. 6 Concerning zeal, persecuting the church, concerning the righteousness which is in the law, blameless. 7 But what things were gained to me, these I have counted loss for Christ. 8 Yet indeed I also count all things lost for the excellence of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and count them as rubbish that I may gain Christ. 9 And be found in him, not having my own righteousness which is from the law, but that which is through faith in Christ, the righteousness which is from God by faith.